it's me, Kurt, from City Campus, and uh, we're continuing our devotional series this week on coming home. And I hope you'll just take a minute and, um, and share, or if you're on YouTube, if you'll subscribe to our feed, and just take that moment or two to do that, and you'll be updated on all the new things. And then sharing here on Facebook will certainly allow your friends to see this if you think this is a worthwhile devotional. It's just a way for us to spend a few minutes in the Bible every morning or whenever it is makes sense for you, of course. And our series this week is based around coming home since we start uh, in-person church services this Sunday, May 31st. Um, now, the Veterans Campus of Eastside Christian Church will start tonight, Thursday. So uh, if you're not coming Sunday, I hope you're able to make it uh, tonight at uh, Veterans Campus. That's over on Veterans Parkway across from River Valley Middle School in Jeffersonville. So either one of our campuses, we would invite you to come, but I really invite you to come to City on Sunday, 930 at uh, 1710 East 10th on, in Jeffersonville. Let's get to our study. Well, we're using this uh, acronym of paper this week to kind of go through the uh, coming home process. I don't know that the paper has much, much to do with that. Um, you probably won't get any this Sunday because we're handing out any paper. Although I found out today we're handing out some bracelets that say "Welcome Home," so I hope you'll uh, hope you'll come get one of those for your very own. And um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> let's get on to our study about equipping today because that's really what we're talking about today is equipping. Um, Ephesians four twelve says this to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. And I just preached, you know, week before last about the, uh, about the um, chapter of Ephesians, chapter 4, which is probably the most interesting book in the Bible in terms of talking about how we as Christians are to be different. Um, I think the, uh, the word I used in that sermon was weird. You know, sometimes people think we're weird because we do things weird. And part of that weirdness is to help each other all the time, help each other grow in Jesus. And, um, and so that, that chapter is all about that. Growing our faith is one way that we are different. And it talks about ministers and other members of the leadership of stuff, right? You know, sometimes we call ministers pastors. Sometimes we call ministers preachers. I think, uh, I think Kyle and I kind of like the term preacher. But um, whatever, we're not the only people doing ministry in churches, right? Everybody is to do ministry. It should be every person. So as we come together, one of, the re one of the reasons we come together is so that we can get ready to do ministry. And sometimes that ministry takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort. We might have to pump some iron. I wish I had barbells right now to go, which I'd probably drop them because I've been to the gym in like two months, three months. Our uh, theme verse this week is Hebrews 10.25. I hope you're taking it to mind, getting ready for Sunday. Let's not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. So now that you've got an opportunity to meet together, don't neglect it, and uh, let's, let's go ahead and get together. It'll encourage me, and I hope you'll be encouraged by us being together. Well, I think I'm getting excited for Sunday. I hope you are. And uh, we'll still have our live at 11 on Saturday. It may only be a couple of us. But um, I'm looking forward to uh, you seeing us there, too. So I hope you'll come by. Let's pray, and then uh, we'll get you started on your day. God, we love you, and we're thankful that uh, you sent us leaders to help equip us for works of service. And thank you for your Bible, which also helps equip us and for your son, Jesus, who inhabits us. It's in his name we pray. Amen. See you guys. Have a great and amazing day ahead of you.